if I had to ch- if I had to challenge someone, Mike Pratt, mm. oh, or my yeah. staffs, in his words said, "I don't sweat." What? Oh, oh, hello, welcome back to Wee Wings. Um, this is season two. We have a wonderful guest. This is the first time that they've been requested or challenged, dare we say. Um, May you please introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, uh, my name is Mike Pratt, he, him pronouns. Um, I work in the chapel base as the LGBTQ plus engagement coordinator. So supporting queer education and advocacy efforts here on campus. Beautiful work you're doing. Um, So we have four wings and four questions today. It will be an experience. I'm gonna be honest, sir, I think you're a beautiful human being. But I have been hearing that you don't sweat and that pain doesn't hurt you, and all that of that. One, that one is uncooperative, uncooperated. Or, okay, yeah, the people, the streets are talking. The streets are talking. I think you will get sad and hurt today. Okay. Just a little bit. Is that a threat? No, 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 no. Okay. no. But what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Sure. I think we'll both leave stronger today. Okay, so our first sauce is the classic okay. hot sauce from Hot Ones. Um, we are not sponsored. Yet. Yet. Ooh, I like Aim that. Aim big. Blue skies. Aim freaking big. All right, ready? Yeah. Are we? Do we cheers these Yeah, ones? let's freaking right, cheers. Let's Good vibes. October is LGBTQ History Month. Can you talk a bit about how the acknowledgement started and the history of the month? Yeah. I, it started in an interesting way and I think a little bit of a um, surprising way, potentially. It started with um, some teachers in Missouri um, who wanted to find an opportunity during the school year to be able to have acknowledgements within their courses. Um, and so a few of these teachers started it on a very small scale in Missouri doing kind of um, history lessons that included things about Stonewall and Harvey Milk, um, and then that slowly kind of built into um, other schools in the area taking it on as a month um, of acknowledgement. Uh, we also have National Coming Out Day on the 11th that happens in October, so that encompassed it. But the importance was to be able to have space within an educational setting for people to get information about um, queer identity and empowerment. Uh, we talk a lot in Safe Zone about how um, it's not always we get to talk about identity in a formal setting in a moment where it could be really important for young people um, to learn about themselves potentially um, and we never know what someone's home life is like and so hopefully that was a moment for the school to step in and to, to instill that sense of belonging at an early age. Absolutely. All right, let's do the second one. It is Los Calientes Verde. So it's like a little bit of jalapeno, it's sweet, um, and it's very good. Is this the one that made Kay cry in the last video? No. Because I've been catching up. I've been catching up on the videos. No? no okay. Not that one. Okay. But that one is here today. Great. It is present and okay. it is here with us. All right. Ready? Cheers. You feel a bit of kick now, right? No. All right, that's fine. Uh, can you tell me about someone who has influenced your understanding of gender and sexuality throughout oh your life? Goodness. Before Wheaton, I had a professor in college, her name was um, Dr. Andrea Opitz, and it was the first time I remember like reading um, texts that really kind of like shocked me or inspired me or challenged me. And it was actually about, we had a class called American Masculinities, and it was kind of the first class that like academically looked at identity in that way that I had ever taken. And it was shocking to think about the way in which like media representation was specifically um, codified at one point in time to limit who could be shown in film and who could not. I didn't know that that was a thing or that that kind of could happen and that blew my mind and getting inspired to read other writers and queer thinkers at the time I think was the first time I was like also like oh this is like an academic discipline too it's not just um, a conversation piece or that but it's like a like a rooted grounded thing. Yeah and it's cool when you see like things in your life then in academics because it's like oh like you said it's been going on for decades if not centuries and I'm not the only person going through it. 100%. So this next one is called the Garlic Reaper sauce. It's based with the Carolina Reaper pepper. Sure. And the cap is red, not black. So I noticed. It's yeah. a little different. It's great. You can be in pain during this if you want to be. No. You don't have to, you know, we can break down or masculinity. I'm all about healthy masculinity. Absolutely. That at one point in time was part of my job. <laughs> yeah. So extra big bite on this one. Extra big bite? Okay. Yep. yep. Cheers. Good luck. 
I, mine looks more orange than yours does. Mm -hmm. I, do, I do want that spoken for the cameras. No, dude. That camera, that camera, and that camera. No, dude. In addition to your work at Wheaton, you're yeah. also an author and an actor. You wait until this one to start. Can you adding? recommend a book, movie, or TV show for us to watch this month? Yeah, so um, I wrote a book, and it's called Code of the Nightbird. I'm very proud of it. I don't talk about writing a lot. I'm not sure why. I don't do that, but it, yeah, it's something I'm very proud of. It was inspired partly by that professor. After that course, I was very kind of frustrated about the fact that I, you know, representation media was so specifically impacted during the production code. So, Code of the Night Bird, of the the title of my book, is sort of representative of that. And she said to me at the end of this class when I was sort of like, like, what do I do with all of this? Like, how do I move forward from this? And she was like, I would read something that you wrote, or I would watch something that you made. And it very earnestly was like, I felt like I had been given permission to create, and it's available where all good books are sold. It's also at the Norton Library, so you could also get it for Whoa. Fr for free. Yeah, which I didn't know it was there. Donna Gimler, shout out, was like, I didn't know you wrote a book. I saw it at the library. So that was really fun. Are you not feeling it? No, you put it on, right? Like, there's stuff on it? Y Sorry, I don't mean to be a brat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's acting. <laughs> Why, just why? I think like the earnest answer is like a, a, a sense of like self-consciousness of like needing to be perceived in a particular way if I'm being so real mm. with you right now. You know what I mean? Cause like okay. we're being watched in many a way. I feel like I gotta hold it down. And I know that it's affecting you. It's I not. Know. We're good, we're vibing. All right, yeah. this is the last one. Um, the last app, a new version called the Apollo. Okay. This tradition to put extra on. Um, oh, can we just hold up your wing? Hold up the wing. Hold up your wing. No, no it's. Hold up your wing. <laughs> okay. I'll put a bit more. I'll I'll get I'll get closer to where you are. I mean, closer. It's it's dripped onto the plate. Here you are. More. It's more of it's the... tradition. It's tradition. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Toxic masculinity engaged. <laughs> Healthy competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Secret, Healthy we're filming this in September. I'll let it go in October. All right, ready? This is I the am, last one. I, I will be earnest and say I am nervous. Okay, this, good. This one has me. I'm shaking from the moment we sat down because I've been traumatized from the past three that I've done. To try to help me rethink everything. I like that. You I could. like that they're like strategically placed. Yeah. Strategy. And if I see your hand shaking, dog, if you're feeling no, we're it, so you gotta good. let me know. Can I ask what, 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 what Lenny's response was to this final one? Um, if I'm to be called out by him? He, I mean, he held it down, him and DP. Like, they were, they were good sports about it. Okay. Um, but they were also not afraid to show their true emotions. They weren't afraid of cameras being in front. And this is the last one. Okay. What's your favorite thing about Pride at Wheaton? My favorite thing about Pride at Wheaton, <laughs> um, <coughs> it has been affirmed over and over again, is, and this is <coughs> the most genuine thing I'm about to say in my yeah. mouth as well. Um, I never really thought that I would get to work at a place or be in a community where it really is something that is across all levels of an institution um, and where the buy-in is really genuine um, from all folks. Um, it's amazing that there are spaces like the network that have consistently students and staff and faculty there present and involved and engaged. You good? Yeah. Great. I'm cheering up because it's so emotional what you're saying. Yeah, no. It's really wonderful. Um, We've been able to engage the community at large as well. And um, yeah, it just feels really holistic. And um, my brain is going. If that helps you, my brain is moving away from me. Yeah, it just feels like it's something that is a cross-campus uh, commitment that is genuinely held. That's certainly what it is. So you're it's feeling just, it? I was you're thinking about that, <laughs> no, 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 that no. scene in Moonlight no, 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 no. when they're at the beach. And it just really is moving. That's nope. what I was thinking about. I was thinking nope. about my book and achieving a goal. <laughs> Got you. I was thinking about the SAG strike, which is gonna go on forever. Oh God. 
I was thinking about Lindsay and Kate and the network and the work we all do. You haven't even touched your milk, bro. At this point, it's a competition with myself. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes the toughest competition is the, the one that, I don't know, it's in the back of your brain. I'm trying <laughs> to keep it together. Well, that's the whole point, Mike. You don't have to. Let it go. It's okay. <laughs> it's a safe space. Oh, God. Is it? It feels, this feels like, is a safe space in the presence of the Reaper. Do you know what I mean? Yes, that feels comfortability like. comfortability with death. Yeah. Um, well, in typical fashion. Yeah. I guess we're starting a little trend now. Okay. Um, Lenny called out you. Yes. Who would you like to call? <coughs> but Sorry. take your time. Take your yeah. time. Um, just the thought of Lenny calling me out again really riled me up there. Mm. Um, I don't believe in calling out. <coughs> I believe in calling in. Oh, uh, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I mean, obvi the most obvious one for me to choose is Lindsay. Uh, but you know what? Mm. You know who you need to get here? Mm. Barbara Darling. Get Who's some that? vegan wings. Barbara Darling is an amazing, amazing faculty member in religion, and she's been a member of the network for a while. She is the sweetest, kindest Excuse woman, me. and I want to see her sweat. Okay. So how about that? Wow, you really did well. But yeah. we did get you in the end. I'm glad that there was, you know, a little bit of suspense. But we sure. finally got yeah. you. Um, but I just would like to say thank you. Thank you for, for having me. Yeah, for the delightful information you shared with us. Yes. Um, where can people find you on campus if they want to stop by and say hi? Yeah, I would love for that to be the case. And we are <laughs> an operational office in the chapel basement, in the basement of the chapel, the base. My office is down there. You can find me there, as well as if you have interest or want support around LGBTQ plus identity, first gen low income. Uh, we also support the food pantry on campus, uh, civic engagement, voter rights, uh, community service, those sorts of projects are all what we can kind of support you. So please come down and visit us. And if it's something beyond that, we'll be happy to point you in the direction you need to go. Sweet. Mike <coughs> Pratt, everybody. Thank Great you job, so man. much.